Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings and today we're going to be going over how to make pit barrel cooker smoked corn on the cob. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go! Smoking pit barrel cooker corn on the cob is a relatively easy process. The first thing that you're going to want to start with is obviously corn on the cob. Now with the corn on the cob you have two different options. You could either peel back the husk and leave it on in order to use it as a protective layer while on the smoker or you can completely remove the husk. I chose to re remove the husk. Now that I have the corn husk, I'm going to go ahead and add some oil to it and then I'm going to season it with Everglades all-purpose seasoning. Now this step is totally up to you. You can add salt, pepper, or you can add your favorite barbecue seasoning. It's really up to you. Don't be afraid to be creative in the kitchen. Now that our corn is seasoned, it is time to get it on the smoker. Now they do make these corn on the cob hanging racks for the pit barrel cooker, but I decided that I just want to place the corn directly onto the grate. So I have about eight, maybe 10 years of corn here, and they fit perfectly all onto one side of the grate which is directly over the charcoal basket and the smoker is running right around 275 degrees Fahrenheit. It has been about 30 minutes since I put the corn onto the pit barrel cooker. It is time to check on the progress. Now the whole cooking process probably takes about an hour and like I said it's only been about 30 minutes so we're about halfway through the cook. It's time to flip them, see which ones are cooking faster, which ones are cooking slower and see which ones need to be moved. So I'm just going through these different ears of corn, just checking in on the progress. If you're wondering what the other vegetables are doing on the smoker, these are gonna be utilized in a smoked salsa, which will be in another video on the channel. So stay tuned. Now that I've rearranged the corn, it's gonna be time to put the rods back into the uh, pit barrel cooker and place the lid back on and then come back in about another 30 minutes to check in on the progress. So it's been about another 30 minutes for a total of one hour of cook time and it's time to get this corn on the cob off of the pit barrel cooker. What I would suggest is to put any of your favorite condiments on top of this corn. You can do butter, salt and pepper, or you can make a little bit of a, like a sriracha butter or herb butter. That goes really well on this too. Make sure to like and subscribe as that is the best way to support this channel. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.